you doing? What are you doing? Don't eat it. Oh my gosh. You're such a mess. Yeah. No, don't eat it. <laughs> Hello, hello everyone. We are unfortunately at a dealership. Our car ended up breaking down last night. Um, actually, you know what? John knows the whole story, so I'll just let him tell you. So we were driving to the office supply store to get some name tags for our family reunion. And we were only going like 10 miles an hour because the speed limit... Like, it was in the parking lot. Yeah, because we were in the parking lot. <laughs> And we heard something that was like, you know, just sound like doom, like, you know, just like a, a normal tap or whatever. And we went to the office supply store. We bought all of our stuff. We came back out. And as we were driving up the parking lot to make the turn onto the road, we heard this weird noise. It was like, Aah. yeah. And um, so I pulled over immediately and I uh, looked under the hood to see what I could find. And it was a little smoky. And Which is never good. <laughs> there was no belt on the car anymore. No serpentine belt, right? Yeah, and yeah. it's less than 15,000 miles on this car. So that belt, like, sh they're good between thirty-five to 60,000 miles. Yeah. So, like, that's not normal. That means, like, something else broke. So I called the tow truck, and they had it brought to the dealer. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, John went to the auto parts store to get a new belt just to like put it on so we could drive it somewhere so we wouldn't have to tow it, right? And um, they didn't have any. Yeah. They were, and I mean, it's a serpentine belt. Like, it's like those things are like candy. You know what I mean? Like, it's like windshield wipers or oil. Like, you should have them. It was so strange. I guess because of the, um, like, nobody is really at work right now that they have a huge shortage on like a bunch of stuff. It's not just car stuff. It's like computer stuff and phones and like all kinds of stuff. So they just like, don't have any anyways sorry john go ahead you can continue with what you were saying so, so anyways i got the tow truck and we towed it to the dealer and the dealer had it overnight and they called me this morning and said that because of everything that's happening with the shortages of car parts and the pandemic and the shortages of labor they it would take them months and months to fix our car to get the parts and stuff like they're calling it a total loss it's yeah. a total loss because it's missing two pulleys and one belt which is normally like a super simple thing to like repair and it's just so crazy so we're here at the dealership and i'm not sure what we're going to do their inventory sucks to be frank it is like nothing um i don't know and little Mr. Theo just had a diaper change, huh? Yeah, you had a yucky diaper. Yes, so he changed you in the back of Mama's car. Sorry about that, Mama. <laughs> right, Theo? Say sorry, Mama. <laughs> I don't think she minds, huh? Are you ready to go, Leon? Go look at some new cars? The thing is, is we have to make sure his wheelchair can fit in the back. So that's gonna be the struggle, right? So I guess this is one of the first options that we're looking at. A Jeep Grand Cherokee L. So it has the third row seating. It's a little bit bigger than just like the normal Cherokee. But I'm not a super big fan of the front. I don't know why. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just like not my well, this taste. This is your favorite color, so I thought you'd be looking at this one. Yeah, I like this one and the white one. Okay. But I'm just like, I want to see inside and stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm not really, I don't know. I definitely feel like it has nice space in the back and the seats fold flat, which is good. It's pretty on the inside. It has this really nice wood grain and the leather, but no TV and no ceiling vents. The vents are like right here. So it'd be a little hard for when Theo's facing backwards, but it is really pretty. It has a lot of nice, features so I don't know yet I guess the little man is gonna play in the toy section while we wait how cool is this all kinds of fun stuff to play with huh are you reading a book Leon oh that's cool <laughs> he's into this book <laughs> look at him he's 
so funny. <laughs> so the issue is mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. they don't have a very okay. big inventory. Nobody does right now. I guess because of um, everything getting like shut down and stuff, they're just not producing as much as they used to, which is also the issue with getting our car fixed, coincidentally enough. Um, and they only have one option here that would fit what we need because we really need like a bigger car third row seating all of that for the wheelchair and the stroller and the car seats and stuff um and i it's not that i don't like what i was showing you guys it's just that i'm not in love with it you know and i don't really want to pay a bunch of money for something that i don't love so i think what we're going to do is just have them buy our car like outright um, we do owe less than what it's worth. So actually it's, it's about even. So it should be like an even clean break and we basically are just like starting over. Um, and I know that a trade-in value is worth more than like just buying it. But if I don't like anything here, I don't like anything here. You know what I mean? So I think that's what we're gonna do. And then we're just gonna go somewhere else and get something that we actually like. Um, I don't know, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. We might end up right back here. I, I'm not really sure. I'm trying to put Theo in his car seat. What are you doing? Why are you standing? <laughs> you have to sit down. Sit down, sit down, put your legs down. Look, he's like, <laughs> he's like no mommy. There we go. <laughs> you have to sit in your car seat, silly. See, look at Leon, Leon's sitting. Good job, Leon. Well, Hello. what do you think? Theo's sad. He's been in the car too long. What? Is that a face of happiness, disappointment? This is something that I would buy. Yeah? What are you doing buying my car? I mean, you raised me. What do you expect? <laughs> Did you expect anything different? We got... A Durango. I mean, honestly, did you guys expect anything else? We haven't shut up about this car since we've traded the other one. Aww, my little buddy is so sad. Hi, Mr. He's Man. All right now. He's alright now that Papa's got him, no, huh? Okay. Come on. Hi, buddy. You come from tears to smiling awful quick. See, I've been in the car way too long, <laughs> Papa. <laughs> I forgot about you either. I'm gonna get you out too. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. You wanna drive it? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. What? I'm gonna see if I can drift it or not. No, oh. <laughs> not giving you the keys now. <laughs> so John is actually still working on the paperwork for selling our other one, our van. Um, it was at a different dealership than the dealership we bought this from. So I didn't need to be there for that. So I just went ahead and brought the kids home because it's getting kind of late. But anyways, moving right along, I wanted to show you guys my dad's grill that he made. A lot of people will take and cut them in half. That's right what I did with my oven that I had. It's too heavy to lift up. I got me a thermometer right there. It's well seasoned because I've cooked a lot of stuff on it, but it's got all stainless grate inside of it here. There's a... Yeah. Of course, you can't see it because it's dark, but... Down in there is a three quarter inch stainless plate and it has nipples cut on it with little holes for air to come out. Yeah. So all the smoke and everything can come out, but oil and grease from the pig can't get down into the fire. Right. And then that's all slanted over to the side and runs out to that spout. Yeah. And that way you don't have no fires in your, in your cooker. And it's not super greasy. Yeah, then you control the heat with your fire here. That's your throttles on both sides where you can open close it. Of course, there's air vents underneath to yeah. draw it in. And then on the side over here is where I put my charcoal. So, yeah, there's his pig cooker that he made, designed, everything. What are you doing? You're going to catch that on fire. You already have. Look at it. It's black. How many times has that thing caught on fire? How many sticks has it went through? Huh? <laughs> You can also slide a burner. I got a gas burner that can slide in. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. Yeah, I don't ever use it. <laughs> That's why I didn't know. <laughs> I, like, I like this better. Oh, yeah, I like the taste of the charcoal. It makes oh, it, yeah. it has a Much very better. good taste. And as you can see, it smokes pretty good. Yeah. 
there. But the, there's no actual contact between the heat, the fire, and the pig. It's like putting it in your oven. Right, yeah. yeah. And we throw all kinds of stuff in there. Oh, shoot. Yeah. How much stuff have you cooked in there? Hamburgers, hot dogs, corn, vegetables, chicken. Everything. Yeah, everything you Deer, can think of. Bear, I mean, everything. Fish. Yeah. Atlantic salmon. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dad has all of this set up for the family reunion Saturday. There's Leon. Hi, you getting grass on the table? Thank you for that, buddy. So, I think we're pretty prepared for Saturday, don't you? Well, yeah, I'm just main, trying to maintain temperature. What are you doing? <laughs> no shoes, no glasses, no problem. Right, Leon? Okay, we're going to stay back here. No, we're not going to get close to the pig cooker, okay? No, it's hot. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't eat it. Oh, my gosh. You're such a mess. Yeah. No, don't eat it. Oh, my gosh. When at Papa's, you just do whatever, huh? You just break all the rules, huh? Yeah. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. You're so silly. <laughs> it looks like we are going to get the first try out of the grill, huh? What is this? Garlic? Yeah. It smells amazing. Yes. See, guys, that's where I get my garlic addiction from. My dad. John always says I use too much, but that is too much. <laughs> now I can blame it on you every time he complains about it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of smoke. That's how you know they're good. <laughs> you think they're done? No. Okay. Ooh, that sizzle. They smell so good. Look, guys, just look at how small those burgers look on this grill, though. And they're massive burgers. They're, like, bigger than your hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at how big that burger is. And they look tiny on this grill. They'll fix it up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, those were probably the best hamburgers we've had in a very, very long time. Because they were homemade. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> but anyways, now it's time for our birthday shout-outs. Yep. Happy birthday to John. Happy birthday to Alyssa. Happy birthday to Scarlett. Happy birthday to Diane. Happy birthday to Liam. Happy birthday to Isabella. And happy birthday to Fu. We hope you guys had a wonderful birthday, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll probably see you tomorrow for a little bit of a more in-depth car tour because I feel like we didn't even really share much of it at all. So. Yep, in our next video. Bye!